Hi guys, welcome back to Lunch Literally. Today I made some meatballs and gravy. I don't wanna necessarily say like it's Swedish meatballs. Oh, I have some champagne as well. Cause that's just the mood, that's just the vibes. Mm. I don't wanna say these are necessarily Swedish meatballs because I didn't follow a recipe. Like I looked up Swedish meatballs cause I was thinking of the meatballs at Ikea. And it just, uh, there are so many steps. This is really good though. I made this from scratch, except the gravy. So just like the meatballs basically. But looking up Swedish meatballs, there are so many steps. I was like, I don't know, I don't know about this. So I just got literally a pack of gravy with 30% less sodium or whatever. And then yeah. I mean, of course, I tweaked it a little bit, but I'm actually a little impressed in myself. However, I was so focused on the meatballs. I didn't think about a side. I was just like, meatballs, that's good. I'm good here. Nothing else. Mm. I could have made like mashed potatoes, but I would want it to be like healthier. So like cauliflower mashed potatoes, you can make cauliflower into like anything, honestly. But comment down below and let me know what you're eating. This is honestly so good. I'm impressed. Another thing about cooking is like, I don't really follow recipes. Like I learned how to cook at a very early age. So when I cook, I just, if you tell me like a tablespoon of something, like it's not gonna be a tablespoon. It's gonna be like what I think is right. You know what I mean? Except if you're like baking something, then you could really mess things up. But honestly, you guys, I don't have a topic to necessarily talk about today. And I'm really happy about that because I posted on my main channel and I said, like, sometimes it's hard to think about topics to talk about for a long period of time. So then I just don't film for this channel. And everybody on my main channel was like, we don't care. We don't need a topic. And I'm like, good. Say less. Which I'm sure I'm going to, I'm still going to have topics, like, on some videos. You know what I mean? But, like... If you just want to like sit down and eat with me and I'm going to tell you my random thoughts because I have plenty, then great. I'm so happy you're here, truthfully, because it makes it less um, stressful for me. Because staying on topic is just really hard. People get mad at me. Like, I could be good at telling a story, but... I don't get too sidetracked. Like I hate it like when like a friend is telling me a story and they get super sidetracked that I get annoying. I'm like, okay, and well, what did they say? Like, why are you telling me about something else? Like, or maybe that's just me being impatient. I don't know. Anyway, I'm really happy about this. I've been dying to go to Ikea just for the meatballs, but I don't like leaving my house unless I have to. And so I was like, you know what? And I don't even need anything from Ikea. I just wanted the, the meatballs. So I was like, let me just get my groceries on Instacart per usual. And here we go. It was really easy. And the champagne is just like, whatever, from last night. They came over last night and brought some champagne. So... It was that. I'm really proud of myself though because I still went on my morning walk. Even though I didn't want to. What's going on in everybody else's life? Like, what's the tea? If y'all have tea, why don't you tell me your tea? What if you guys were to like DM me your tea? Like, something happened that's like real juicy in your life. And you want me to like read the message out loud on a video. I've seen videos like that where it's like, 
it's like my followers DM me their secrets and they like say some off the wall things. What do you guys think? If you guys think that's a good idea and if you guys have juicy stories or tea or secrets, then you should definitely DM me on Instagram. I won't disclose your name and your secrets, your secrets will be safe with me. Well, kind of. <laughs> They'll be safe with me in the sense of I won't tell anyone it's you. But I'm going to tell everybody else on the video. You know what I'm saying? I am really happy about this. It is so good. The meatballs are not cut perfectly. Or not cut, but they're not shaped perfectly. What do you expect? I didn't even follow a recipe. Like, I actually baked the meatballs because... It just seemed easier. I mean, I guess it was. Maybe that's why they're not like perfectly round. It's okay. Really, really bomb. Um, someone asked, when am I going back to work? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Maybe I could go back to work now because I am three weeks post-op, but I am still a little bit sore, like on my stomach. I don't know. I don't know. I don't wanna go. <laughs> That's all that it is. I'm making up excuses right now. Whenever I had my BBL, I think I tried to go back to work like after a month, I think. I think it was a month. Terrible terrible plus obviously after my bbl i had all this ass that i was not used to and so going on stage and like you know it just felt really weird it just felt like hmm, i don't know how to explain it but it just didn't feel right now it does now it feels normal but back then i guess i just wasn't fully completely healed obviously you were not going to be completely healed after a month so uh, also, I'm seeing videos on YouTube of people decorating for fall. I'm not ready yet. Like, I'm not ready yet. Like, I get it. Like, we're already in September, but I'm not ready. Also, I was talking about, sorry, I don't know why I'm trying to, like, drink this. I don't know. I feel like maybe I was eating too fast, and so I'm like, wait, let me catch up on my champagne. Mm. Also, I'm just scared for the winter time because I read somewhere that this winter is going to be like even worse than last year. And honestly, like Texas just doesn't, I just don't, I just feel like Texas doesn't really have my back with anything. You know what I mean? Not with like the power grid, not with uh, women's rights, you know, just the most important things of all. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not looking forward to the winter. But I'm definitely going to be more prepared this year. The last year was so scary. Ugh. Don't want to think about it. I like how I'm talking about winter and I'm like, I'm not ready for it. But I've been burning up in my apartment today. I don't know why, but I mean, the AC is on. And I felt it. I'm feeling it, but I'm still like, I don't know. I'm like overheating. Maybe because I was cooking. I don't know. <clears throat> well if I do go back to work I know that now is probably a better time because during the summertime it's always slow because like everybody's with their families and then they're on vacation and then the kids are out of school so like the dads coming in they can't come in because their children are home and so it's like, how do you explain to little Bobby that daddy's going to be gone for a little bit while mommy's at work? Like, how do you explain that? You know what I mean? So summer times usually suck. But now that kids are back in school, mm, people are not really on vacation. Like at this moment. It typically gets better. Especially like around the time that people go like school shopping, like around that time it's always slow because people are school shopping. Most people don't spend their school shopping money on strippers, you know, if you're responsible. 
Hold on. I don't know. Don't know what to think. I'm trying to like plan out my meals. Honestly, like I love this channel for multiple reasons. Like I feel like this is just more of an intimate setting. Um, but I think it really keeps me on track with like eating better. Like I know that this is not the healthiest, but it's definitely better than like going out to get food, junk food, I guess. I don't know. You know what I'm saying. One time I was out to eat with one of my friends and we went to a pizza place and I was like, I don't want to get any pizza because I ate really bad this weekend. I want to get a salad. And he was like, a salad is just as bad as a pizza. Listen, Chef Boyardee, I'm sure there are a lot of calories in a Caesar salad, but and with the dressing, like there's like a lot of fat and whatever. I get that. I hear you. You're not, well, no, you are wrong. But like, I see where you're getting, getting at here. And I just feel like, you know, a better, healthier person after a salad rather than how I feel after a slice of pizza. You know what I mean? Cool. So, like this, I don't feel guilty for eating even though it's not necessarily like healthy. I don't feel bad about it. So. There's that. Why are we talking about health? No one cares, no one cares about health. Let's just not do that. This was so good. Did you want the recipe? All I did was I got ground beef. You're supposed to use pork, but I just used ground beef. Well, you're, you're supposed to use both. Ground beef, two eggs, some breadcrumbs, grill some onions first, put it all together, put some milk in there, mash it up. I don't have um, like measurements. It just seemed good once I was like putting it all in, you know, I'm sorry. I really don't have ingredients, I mean, uh, uh, measurements. And then with the gravy, I just got a packet of gravy, but I did make it into like a roux instead of just simply putting the water and the gravy packet together. So, I'm sure there's plenty of like food channels out there. I will, I swear you guys, I will eventually cook for you guys and then eat. You just don't understand. It's a process to like film that, edit that, and then like sit here and be ready and then like have your food still warm ready to eat it's like there's a lot that goes into it so that's why i haven't but i will eventually so stay tuned anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you in my next video bye